going on everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for watching another video today's going to be a huge day i just got my fourth revision which is hopefully going to be my last revision for my e85 tune on my vortex xl on the s3 so essentially the way it's going to work is as long as the car responds well to the little updates on this tune then matt will send me a final which would be a fifth tune which would be the final one no more logging after that everything is good to go so as long as the car responds well and we're gonna have no issues so basically the only difference is, is again a little bit more boost and a little bit more timing if the car likes it matt will do a couple of touch-ups uh for the final tune to just clean everything up and the car's gonna be done so i'm hoping that i could get the car on a dyno within the next two to three weeks max so that's gonna be awesome and like i said before in previous videos um i might be picking up some new wheels soon so the car's gonna have a different look it's gonna look a lot cooler in my opinion it's gonna be different so i really like that as well with some better tires and then we'll have some fun then we'll have some fun and then yeah guys uh, i'm excited i'm really excited i don't know what else to say so i'm gonna upload the tune on the car and then we're gonna go out for a rip see how the car is on hopefully the last revision and again we're gonna have a good time so just uploading the tune right now guys waiting for the access port to just get it going and i wanted to say uh, really quickly before I go out and do my logs. I really appreciate everybody who's watching the videos uh, This whole little series of tuning my car and the process of going through it has been doing really well And I'm glad you guys enjoy it because I think it's giving people Confidence to go out and modify their cars and have fun and that's all I want to do So again, I'm glad that people are enjoying it. I'm glad people are watching I'm glad that I'm getting like really consistent people who like to interact with me and I really enjoy that so again, we're just finishing for this and uh can't wait guys we'll see what happens and i'm sure it's gonna be fun all right guys so we're logging let's hit it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that legit makes me like sweat with how hard the car pulls oh my god it's incredible incredible how hard this car pulls on the 85 it's it's scary. It really is scary. Um, what I'm going to do is I like to do two logs just to give to Matt, just in case, you know, you never know. So I'm going to turn around and do one more and we'll see how that goes. to describe but incredible with how this car feels and how fast it is at least to me obviously there's people that probably watch my channel that they're like oh this is a mid 500 wheel horsepower car it's not that fast when you're coming from something like crazy but from the cars that i've experienced and driven this thing is an absolute rocket ship the fact that it keeps getting faster i'm not used to it so every time i get a revision and we turn up the boost and more timing and everything the car feels ridiculous and you know hopefully you guys can see that in the video it's like i'm like holding on i don't know what to do like it, it's so fast and on that pull that was 34.8 pounds of boost so we're like right there i know we're gonna finish around 35 so if this is my last revision it's just gonna be clean up maybe a tad smidge more boost and maybe a little more timing depending what matt sees on the logs and that's it guys the car's gonna be ready to go and i'm gonna be able to go to the dyno and that's what i'm so excited for is to finally get this car on the dyno one thing that to me is really important to talk about is besides having a fast car that's super fun to drive and just has this incredible like roller coaster drop kind of feel is this setup is going to be reliable um a lot of people daily their hybrid cars on e85 mid 500 wheel horsepower with no issues this setup is going to be reliable and is not going to give me any issues as long as i maintain the car properly which i always try and do so i'm not afraid of this car blowing up and honestly i'm pushing this motor to a higher limit than it's supposed to obviously by going with the hybrid setup 
So if something were to happen, I would never blame like anybody but myself because I'm making the car do this. You can't blame tuning unless there's something really crazy that's going on, but you cannot blame other people for you wanting to push your car this hard, especially on a stock motor. Like this is a stock engine car. The, the motor's never been opened. So that's things that you have to take into consideration when it comes to tuning a car and putting a hybrid bigger setup on with port injection and you know, putting so much more fuel and more air. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. You're adding so many more variables to the mix that things can happen. So I'm just so stunned guys with how like, I'm, I'm so mind blown with how fast the car is and the fact that it still might get a little bit faster with a cleanup tune is insane. I, I'm just, I, I'm speechless. I'm speechless with how this car feels. I'm honestly, shout out to EQT because they make amazing products. Their tune is incredible and I cannot wait, like I said before, to dyno this car just to see what I'm experiencing in the driver's seat um, as it relates to power. Um, I'm hoping the car is making somewhere around 520 wheel horsepower and like, you know, 440-ish to 450 torque max. I think that would be perfect for this car. So we'll see. I'm going to be heading out to a shop uh, once I find one that'll allow me to, you know, do a video with them and all that stuff. So once I find that out and I coordinate a day to go, um, I'll keep you guys in the loop so that we can uh, see what this car makes. And hopefully it motivates and inspires you guys to take on this journey like I did. And uh, just know it may take a little while, but it's fun. And obviously things cost money and money is a very valuable thing and money is very important. So, you know, if you decide to do this, you know, work hard to get your car to this level. I respect that because uh, I hope that everybody watching my videos that wants to make this a goal for their MQB car, they do it because it's amazing. It's flat out amazing. The car is incredible. And one important thing too, guys, that hopefully you know is that every time I go to do logs and pulls, it's all like my first reactions to everything. So next video you see of me driving this car, um, it's going to be with the final version of my E85 tune for this car. So that's going to be the best because it's going to be my final tune. It's going to be what the car is going to finish off at and what I can gauge everything off of. And obviously the next step after that would be having to build the engine and do all of that stuff but we'll get there when we get there um obviously after the tune is done could i request matt to send me another revision and turn it up a little more if i want to push it absolutely like obviously i'm taking that risk i'm assuming full responsibility if i want to go faster than what they're recommending and make more power and that's okay will i do that maybe maybe when i have funds that i could just toss to the side and i have to worry about anything and i'm like hey i'm ready to build an engine or i'm ready to do something crazy let me like push this engine to the limit if it blows it blows i might do something like that we'll see where i'm at when i get to that point but right now i want to enjoy the way the car is and a little bit down the line once we hit the track next year and do everything else we'll see uh where i'm at and maybe I'll want to push the car a little harder, blow the engine, and then go crazy. But we'll see. Guys, this car is absolutely incredible. It is so fast, aggressive, smooth. Like It's such an incredible feeling how far this car has come and how amazing it feels. And the fact that I'm going to be getting one final tune that'll turn up the car even a little bit more um, just to clean everything up and make it its final version of what it's going to be for now is incredible And I cannot wait because now I could take the car to the dyno see how much power it makes and do a couple little things over the winter To get the car ready for the springtime to head to the drag strip And honestly, I really think that this car is going to be a mid 10 second car uh, Maybe even a little bit faster with some weight reduction taking out the back seats and everything um maybe passenger seat. I think this car could do really good times. It feels great. A better wheel and tire setup is going to help. So I cannot wait to see what this car is capable of. I cannot wait to see what this car is going to do. And I appreciate every single one of you for watching my videos because this has been a great process and it's been fun. So shout out to all of you for watching. I appreciate it. And again, I love how this car is. It's been amazing. I don't have any more words to say about it. So please like, comment, and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.